Welcome back to our IB Chemistry video series. This is the second video in IB Chemistry Topic 10, Organic Chemistry, where we will be looking at advanced naming of single side groups, multiple side groups, side chains, and isomers. In the previous video of this series, we covered the naming of the basic members of all nine homologous series. This video will introduce more complex naming rules, starting with the presence of side groups. The most common side group you will encounter are the halogens named fluoro, chloro, bromo, and iodo. Let's consider three versions of butane, positioning a fluorine, chlorine, and bromine group on the first carbon to create a species known as a halogenoalkane. These would be named fluorobutane, chlorobutane, and bromobutane, respectively. However, as with the functional groups with alkenes and alcohols, a side group should be numbered to indicate the carbon on which it is found, adding this number before the name of the group. As before, the number is determined by numbering the carbon chain in sequence, starting at the end closest to the side group. Let's consider three versions of chlorobutane, positioning the chlorine group on sequential carbons. We previously called the left structure chlorobutane, which although correct, is incomplete. A more correct name would be 1-chlorobutane, the middle structure would therefore be named 2-glorobutane. Spotting the symmetry, you should catch that the final structure would also be named 2-glorobutane. But what if we were naming a halogen side group on an alkene, alcohol, carboxylic acid, aldehyde, ketone, ether, or ester? Well, the same rules apply. Except you must remember that the initial numbering of the carbon chain, with reference to the functional group, is used to determine the numbering of the side group. So, if we considered the four carbon examples for each species used in our previous video, butyne, butantuol, butanoic acid, butanol, butantuone, one propoxybutane, and propyl butanoate, and added a chlorine atom in the following location, we could say butyne becomes 2 chlorobutyne, butantuol becomes 2 chlorobutantuol. Butanoic acid becomes 2 chlorobutanoic acid. Butanal becomes 2 chlorobutanal. Butantuone would not work, as there are no available bonds, but if added to the first carbon, it would become 1 chlorobutantuone. 1 propoxybutane becomes 1 propoxy 2 chlorobutane. And propyl butanoate becomes propyl 2 chlorobutanoate. However, if we were to move the chlorine atom along one carbon in each compound, excluding our ketone, since the numbering of carbons is conducted with respect to the functional group initially, spotting the symmetry, they would become 2-chlorobutuene, 3-chlorobutantuol, 3-chlorobutanoic acid, 3-chlorobutanol, 1-propoxy-3-chlorobutane, and propyl-3-chlorobutanoate. It is also worth noting that for ethers and esters, the group could be found on the other chain of the compound. So, moving the chlorine on our last two examples, we would get 2-chloro-1-propoxybutane and 2-chloro-propylbutanoate. However, there can be more than one side group. So what happens here? Well, if they are different atoms, we simply list them one after the other, stating the carbons on which they are found. We list them alphabetically, not by carbon number. If we revisited all our examples mentioned, adding a bromine atom adjacent to the chlorine, we could say 2-chlorobutuene becomes 3-bromo-2-chlorobutuene, 2-chlorobutantuol becomes 3-bromo-2-chlorobutantuol, 2-chlorobutanoic acid becomes 3-bromo-2-chlorobutanoic acid, 2-chlorobutanol becomes 3-bromo-2-chlorobutanol, 1-chlorobutantuone becomes 3-bromo-1-chlorobutantuone, 1-propoxy-2-chlorobutane becomes 1-propoxy-3-bromo-2-chlorobutane, and propyl-2-chlorobutanoate becomes propyl-3-bromo-2-chlorobutanoate. But what about when the side group is identical? Well, we simply list the carbons on which group they are found and add the same prefix to the side group name as with multiple functional groups, i.e. di, tri, and so on although you will likely only see two groups. Let's review the same examples, converting the bromine to a chlorine group. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, 
head over to our website and select a membership plan today.